Good day, everybody, and welcome to Google Classroom. Today, I'm going to show you the first step that you need to do to get logged into Google Classroom. So the first thing I'm going to, you're going to need to do is open your email, of course, and download this spreadsheet. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of information that is in the header of the spreadsheet, but you really only need to fill out the first four columns. So what you're going to need to do is put your student's first name and their last name. Now in the email address I suggest putting their first name dot last name as you can see here and you're also going to need to put some kind of number here as far as you know maybe your room number I'm in room 27 so I'm going to put 27 and that way students with the same name don't get confused. Uh, the next column you're going to need to put here is the password and the password is going to need to be eight digits something simple could be like if you're at uh, TV, TV, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, students will have the ability to change it, but it's good to start out with everybody having the same password. So once you filled out the first name, the last name, email address, just as you see here, remember to add a few numbers. Um, and their password, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and send me the spreadsheet. Now, if you have a iPad, you're going to need to make sure to also have the apps that are downloaded. So number one, you, it's not in this picture, but you're going to need Google Classroom. You're going to need Google Slides, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Drive. And those are really going to be the big ones that you need. Uh, the email function is turned off, and you may want to have them access Google Calendar. But... Uh, that's your first step. So fill out your spreadsheet and send it to me and be patient while you wait for me to upload your data. I will send you an email when you're ready. Also, please, if you could add yourself here um, to this spreadsheet, that will ensure you also have a username and password as well. So there you go. Please email me if you have any questions, and I look forward to connecting with you digitally.